Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with the uh, long, long, long awaited tutorial for uh, the normal robot kitty and the explosive robot kitty. Um, this is a tutorial meant for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Uh, I'll be going step by step through the build process uh, that goes on all the way back there uh, into building. Uh, what is essentially like a small walking robot. Uh, it is fairly complex. Uh, so that means that, again, obvious disclaimers. Uh, you're basically, when you decide to build this, you're deciding to build a, you know, an old fashioned, you're essentially building like an old, old fashioned analog uh, watch. Uh, like in comparison to complexities. That also means that. Uh, if you misplace one block, like one block too many, forget one block, move one block, one block to the side, this thing is not going to work. Now, obviously, that means that some of you guys uh, that are, you know, a little bit impatient are going to bitch and moan in the comment that, that, isn't, that this design doesn't work. Uh, but I have no real reply to that because basically it means that you messed up somewhere. Uh, you can always, you know, accuse the tutorial of not being good enough. Sure. But... Um, yeah, <laughs> you get the idea. Um, but yeah, this thing uh, is really cool. It's really high tech, and it comes in uh, in t two types. Um, and I'll basically do the tutorial for both. One is just you know super derpy cat motion walking thingy, and then the other one that I have is actually a uh, high explosive missile. Uh, so like if you want to blow up someone's base or whatever in style then uh, using this ultra high explosive kitty uh, is, a, is a very good way to go. It's very slow, uh, but it's like, <laughs> it's, it's hilarious to watch. Uh, so we're just gonna let that go. Um, as for stopping, uh, there's one way to stop it that is very efficient, is just get some obsidian. And it doesn't have like a start stop function or anything like that, but that's how you can stop it. Um, as for the thing hitting the wall, uh, basically TNT will trigger. And this thing has quite a bit of TNT on it, so you should end up with a uh, very sizable explosion. So guys, uh, if you're up for this, then uh, I recommend you stay tuned and I'll go through it step by step. Like I said, lots of steps. And as you can see, the redstone is quite dense. Uh, but eventually, after many, many steps, uh, you will end up with a either explosive robot kitty or a normal robot kitty. So let's get going. Now, one more thing uh, before we actually start. Seeing as I'll kind of be doing two tutorials at the same time, uh, that means that what I've done is I have color coded the robot kitty with two, two different types of blocks. Uh, you'll see me use uh, red sandstone every now and then and you'll see me use quartz and the idea is that every uh, red sandstone block on the kitty right now uh, can be replaced with TNT so whenever you see me place a redstone sa slab or staircase or normal block it means that it can be replaced by uh, TNT uh, as for all the quartz blocks and all the quartz slabs those can all be replaced by uh, glass, or at least I like using glass because it doesn't absorb as much of the explosive power from TNT. Basically means you get a bigger explosion. Um, but that means that I'll basically be doing a tutorial on the normal kitty, and it is kind of up to you to replace all the sandstone or quartz, depending on what happens. Now, like always, I'm going to go through this step by step. I laid out a little uh, foundation area to better indicate where blocks are going. It is a uh, 7 by 16 area. Um, and once you've laid out your area, um, we'll be starting. So we're starting with the feet. I'm obviously going to make it go that direction, kind of like towards the uh, red stained cube. Um, and we'll start with the feet, like so. And uh, again, just to emphasize, like if you want to make this an explosive version, you would just replace all these with uh, TNT and kind of get the same result. Um, be, be wary though, like if you mess up the TNT version of this, 
uh, it will 99% chance like explode in your face. So so beware of that. Um, two slime blocks on top, and then a redstone block there, there, and there. Uh, and that is step one. Okay, next up, you're gonna need a bunch of sticky pistons. You will go uh, three blocks up uh, so that the uh, sticky piston facing down can kind of like grab the block. And you will do that for all the legs. Um, I just uh, want to point out, by the way, again, with as if with all my other tutorials as well, if you uh, if I'm going too fast, which is going to be super likely, like it is up to you to uh, press the pause button where necessary. That's, that's kind of like how these things go. Uh, but yeah, you'll end up four sticky pistons like that. And then uh, redstone lock there, 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 and there. So here, like in between, and uh, the other legs, the back, uh, in front. Uh, but that is step two. Okay, for step three, we're going to go uh, at the back. We're kind of like starting with the uh, back legs. The uh, the tutorial will go a little bit weird. Uh, and that's because with the... Uh, it has to do with the complexity of the machine. Basically, the engine is almost half the machine. The signal li literally travels around the entire thing. Um, so normally we would start with an engine, but in this case, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to go three blocks back like this, then place a normal piston, and then we'll do that on the other leg as well. And then we'll get two blocks like this, and then four blocks like this. Um, and that is step three. Okay, for step four, what you want to do is you want to grab a sticky piston, go to the back, place it there. Uh, then to the other side we go and we place a redstone block. Then in the little hole we'll place a normal piston. Then we grab some slime blocks, we go up and we place another sticky piston facing backwards. And then finally, for step four, we will place a redstone block here. And then we're done with that part. Okay, step five. Uh, at the sticky piston on the back, we will place a uh, slime block. And then we'll get some red sandstone stairs. Place one there and there. Again, this could be TNT if you're making an explosive version. And then below here, we will place a normal piston. Then we'll grab slime block, slime block redstone block and that is essentially like the tail of the kitty and that's step five okay step six um we're gonna place some slime blocks three in total and then we'll get our first quartz block and again if you're making an explosive kitty you could use uh, stained glass instead and then we'll get a piston here and this is purely aesthetical but you can get a uh, staircase quartz block here as like a final touch to the tail. Okay, step seven. Uh, what you will do is you will grab a normal piston and place it here on the corner. And then we go make, get a little air gap there. Um, we get a shape like this with a quartz block on top of this piston. Then we put a redstone block here. Uh, so that when this moves forward, the piston will get powered. And then a slime lock there and a slime lock there so that this redstone block is kind of like hooked up to the segment. And that is step seven. Okay, step eight. Uh, this is a pretty big one. So play, pay close attention. Uh, we get a slime lock here and we'll get our first caterpillar. Uh, caterpillar is like... Uh, Part of a, an engine sort of thing that moves as a caterpillar. We get a sticky piston facing backwards, like so. Uh, then I'm actually going to grab a non-movable block. Uh, you could use a furnace for that. I'm just going to use obsidian because it's, I don't know, like furnace is probably better uh, for survival. Uh, just to, to make sure that this doesn't activate because we will actually be putting a redstone block directly next to this. Um, and then on the side of the uh, obsidian, we'll get a normal piston facing this way. Um, then we need a redstone block here, and this is like the caterpillar. Um, and then we're gonna grab some uh, red sandstone, 
put that here and then a slime lock there. So like you can see all the blocks we placed just now. Just make sure there's no, no mistakes. Okay, step nine, and this is uh, very aesthetical and uh, adding lots and lots of TNT. Um, we'll get some uh, red sandstone, like so. Then slab, slab, or TNT, TNT. Then glass, or slab. And then a quartz block there. Uh, and that is step nine. Okay, step 10 is a big one. Uh, what we'll get is we'll get need to grab some slime blocks and basically make a like five long slime block segment with the one block there, one block there, and then uh, a redstone block there and a slime block there. Kind of looks like a, a drive shaft for uh, for a car. Okay, step 11, this is also a big one, and we're now sort of getting to the point where we're um, starting to build uh, the actual like, engine. Uh, we get a normal piston, then we get like a, a shape like this. Uh, then I'm already going to put a obsidian block here, because we'll get another caterpillar. Uh, so we grab a sticky piston, facing back, like so. And we get a normal piston facing like so, and then a redstone block there, and a redstone block there. So it kind of looks like this, and that's step 11. Okay, step 12, time to hook up the, uh, the left front leg. We'll get a normal piston here, going into a uh, slime block, and due to the timings, it's not gonna interfere with this uh, pistons, which is really cool. Um, Place a TNT or sandstone there. Uh, then we go down, redstone block, then a slime block there, and this is the piston that will uh, push forward the left leg. And then we can add, I don't know, I'm using a, like a stair here, uh, but this could also be uh, a TNT block. Okay, step 13. Time to hook up the right front leg. Um, I'm on the other side now where we have this piston. We will place uh, slum blocks like this and a redstone block like so, uh, so that when it moves forward, this one gets powered. Um, then we continue on where we go down one block. And just as where there's a piston there, like near the leg, we'll have a piston here that's near the leg, so that when this gets like pulled up, it gets pushed forward. Uh, and then we'll grab a quartz block or a glass block, depending on what you're doing. And we'll place one there, and we will place one there. Um, but this is, you can see all the blocks we place now, this is what you should end up with. Okay, step 14. Uh, what we'll do is we'll place a uh, quartz block here, next to the uh, caterpillar. And then two slime blocks like so. And basically we're making another caterpillar that's kind of symmetrical to the other one. Uh, we grab a sticky piston, make sure that it is a sticky piston, that's also a sticky piston obviously. Um, facing back, then a redstone block next to it, which can't extend because there's a non-movable block here. Um, and then we get a normal piston facing forward, and then a redstone block there. And that is step 14. Okay, step 15, we are now almost at the point where this is like functional uh, in the sense that uh, this can move. Um, what you want to do is you want to place a uh, sandstone block there or a TNT. And technically at this point, if you were to remove all the obsidian blocks and you were to update this piston, you would have a uh, headless walking kitty. Um, now I wanted to, <laughs> to have a head though. Um, so we're going to continue. There's a couple more steps, but uh, like we're getting, we're getting pretty close. Um, place some more TNT or sandstone there, then quartz. Uh, this is all like purely aesthetical. I don't like most of the stuff we're doing is very aesthetical at the moment. Um, slab there, then uh, slime block and uh, quartz block. But uh, it is this block that will uh, cycle the engine. It will basically update this piston after it has moved forward. Okay, step 16, we'll go down here and like on the right front leg, we'll place a piston. 
and then we'll get a uh, slime block here with a redstone block, and then we'll get uh, kind of like a sort of yin yang sy uh, symbol. So three slime blocks like this, and then a quartz or glass like that. And that is step 16. Okay, step 17. We're finally adding a face to the kitty. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get a uh, piston there, and then like a shape like this. We'll go three down, and we can add ears. Like you can customize this a little bit. Just make sure that you don't go over the 12 block push limit. Uh, but oh, ears. Um, This could be TNT. This could also be TNT. That could also be TNT. Uh, technically, if you wanted to, you could give it eyes. Looks a little bit derpy, but <laughs> eyes. I don't know. I think this is pretty good as well. Um, and then you can add a uh, quartz block in the back there. Um, but yeah, that is step 17. Almost there now, uh, this is step 18, what we'll do is we'll uh, place a slab here, because what we're adding now is the trigger mechanism for the TNT. Now you, you might not want TNT, in that case you can just put a normal block there, uh, and a it's like a staircase there. Uh, but if you were making this uh, an explosive kitty, uh, this, this thing would be the the TNT that triggers the machine. So also if you're watching this and one of these things is heading your way, uh, if you break this TNT, it won't it won't detonate. That's just something that is good to know. Now the final thing we need to do is remove the obsidian and then we're pretty much good to go. Like everything is all set. Uh, but there's one thing that you could technically do if you want to be extra fabulous. Um, and that is you could you could make this rideable, not controllable, there's no like start stop or anything like that. Um, but like if you were to remove the obsidian right now and you were to activate this piston, it will start going. Uh, all its derpy, derpy glory. Uh, and like I said, if you want to stop it, uh, you just grab like a, a non movable block and you, you place it on the redstone block here. And then you can restart it by removing this and then activating it again. Then it will just keep going. Um, make sure that there's a flat surface. Uh, but I figured that you guys uh, realize that by now. Okay, so uh, to make this rideable, what you need to do is you need to actually remove this block. Uh, so the one over there. And then add sandstone there and sandstone there i guess this could technically also be a slab and that a slab that would also work uh, and then we put a boat on its head and then we'll ride it on its head and i can probably even start it up from here so i'm sitting up here now and if i were to activate that one there we go uh, so let me quickly just lower the the block sound just uh, just a bit. Um, so guys, I um, I hope sincerely that you managed to get this to work without any issues. Um, if you didn't, there's always, at least for the people that are on PC, a download link in the description. And if you can't be bothered to build it by hand, uh, there's also a uh, summon command where you can use command blocks to summon this into your world, uh, both the explosive one and the normal one. Um, it will be super cool, like I put a lot of effort into this tutorial, uh, if you could, uh, you know, put a like on the video, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe, uh, so like I can grow and do more of this stuff, uh, but yeah guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I hope this works for you, and if it did, be sure to leave a comment on the video, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one, bye guys.